guys. Uh, so today I'm going to show you quick editing on some flat lay or product photography. And this is the image we're going to work on today. It's um, for a product shoot I did. Uh, this particular store owner has a keychain that they sell. And so I just quickly styled it with some colored paper and added a fun couple fun elements. So this is the before and after and I'm going to show you how to get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a virtual copy of the image and go back to single view and I'm going to reset these settings. All right, so what I'm going to do first is obviously the image is very dark. So I'm going to go ahead, not very dark, but pretty dark. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the exposure. And when I'm editing, I do like to have the white background set in Lightroom because it helps me gauge um, the difference in white balance and where my white balance is. And obviously I was shooting a little bit cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and increase my white uh, my white balance to be a little bit warmer. So I would say right about there is probably pretty good. And from there I usually increase the contrast and I'm going to bring down the highlights just a bit. Maybe bring up the shadows and bring down the blacks and I'm going to actually increase the whites because sometimes that helps get out the grayish tint in in the whites but sometimes if you do it too much it just completely blows out the image so you want to be careful using your whites here so the other thing we want to do is get rid of the um, vignetting so which was it's something that happens with your lens so you can see the corners are a little bit darker so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable profile con correction. So that's going to help correct the profile of my, my lens. So it picks up exactly what lens I was shooting with. So you can see before and after it sort of fixes that there. Um, so now what I will do is this side of the image is still looking a little dark, a little gray. I'm going to use the gradient tool here, and which is um, a tool that lets you do a gradient so you know like a um, like a certain amount that gets stretched over the image so I'm gonna turn this on so you can see what it looks like and so the green is representing what's going on and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, the exposure here and I'm gonna turn the green off by clicking O on your keyboard so I can actually see what's going on so here is before and I'm gonna go ahead and drag that up so what that's doing is just adding gradually an exposure across this direction. Um, so that's looking pretty good. And I actually think I want to do another gradient. So you can add as many as you want um, another gradient this way. Sometimes I actually add a gradient on all the corners um, just because it makes it a little even. So I'm going to go ahead and do that this way as well. Maybe a little bit more like that. Maybe a tad bit more. That's looking good. And then I like to zoom in and sometimes you get funky um, artifacts in your image because of the way your lens operates and sometimes certain lenses are better but you can see this like orange tinge here so I'm going to go ahead and remove chromatic aberration which will help with that. So that's good but I actually might decrease um, the exposure on this just a bit. So I'm going to use the selective tool and I'm just going to decrease this here and I'm going to, so I'm going to decrease that a little bit further. Maybe the bring down the highlights a bit so you can see that just a little bit better. Let's see how that's looking. So yeah that's looking pretty good. Um, the only other thing I would do is maybe work on the crop just a bit maybe something like that thinking of the rule of thirds how this is lining up over here how this is lined up here um, that's looking really good so um, yeah that's I think that would be my final image here um, you know before giving it to the client I would go in and clean up any dust marks so I would do some further refinements but that's basically how I, how I edit my flat lays so you can see the before and after um, what we did and actually I'm not sure why let's see before and after let's 
not really showing the true before and after for some reason. Let's do, let's do this. We'll create another virtual copy and we'll reset those settings. And then we'll do R versus A and we'll bring that one there. And then our edited image so you can truly see the difference here. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much done. If you guys have questions, let me know. And I hope to do another tutorial soon for you. All right, guys. Bye.